Hello everyone. We have made our videos on our accounting software from basics to the onwards, like from general entries and then ledgers, how to create ledgers, how to create a trial balance on our balance sheet. So let's start our new video on a balance sheet. I hope you have watched our last video on profit and loss count and you have also viewed our videos on a ledger and file balance. So we have made all those videos from start how to create a general entries format and how to do general entries, how to pass general entries and then it will be uh, turned to the ledger automatically and how to automate your uh, profit and loss count and trial balance. Today we are going to learn about balance sheet. So uh, let's have a quick review on our profit and loss count. As you know profit and loss count is for the year. For example if you are going to get, I have just make a short profit and loss. I have passed a few entries for you like uh, let me show you. They are not all the entries for the one year. There are few entries about one month or two month entries. So uh, this is good practice for a short a small business. Uh, if you are going to uh, handle your own bookkeeping then definitely it's good practice for you. You have to create a, a small accounting software like this. You have uh, if you have a knee-how about your uh, double entry system and if you didn't know anything about the double entry system then um, we are also going to update few videos on single entry system so you just need to enter one entry and the rest of all entries will be uh, auto updated we are also going to uh, make some videos on those single entry system as well today uh, let's start our new video on balance sheet I'm just going to uh, reno him Okay, let's do some formatting. Uh, actually, we want to just merge across. Now, on top, we need to enter the company name. I'm just entering the accounting hunter, and the second name is the name of. Uh, statement like it's our balance sheet balance sheet you can also write a statement of financial position the third one is I think there is an error in the financial. Okay. And uh, it's till date, till today. Uh, so if you are going to create, uh, make a balance sheet on December 31st, so you have to write on the as on 31st December. So if you are going to, uh, if your year is 30th of June, then you have to write over here 30 June as on. 30th June June November oh sorry 2023 that's it so now let's do some formatting for these okay so let's put a border over here On the bottom we need to put a border press control plus one go to the borders and then select the bottom border from here and this is a good practice to insert a new border um, now we're going to write the main elements of the balance sheet the first one is assets uh, there are subcategories of the assets like current assets and non-current assets uh, we are not going to subcategorize the assets from uh, current to non-current right now. Definitely we will make a separate videos for uh, current assets and non-current assets and how to categorize them automatically. So right now I am just categorizing them as an asset and then liabilities. Okay. Uh, after liability, um, I hope you have knowledge about our accounting equation that is assets 
should be equals to uh, we can say must be equals to liabilities and our equity so both of these should be equals to liability and equities should be equals to assets what is what is the equity equity mean any uh, amount invested by the owner in the business that is actually the equity so i'm just going to write over here the equity the total of the assets must be equal to total of the liabilities and the equities so i'm going to put it down over here now i'm going to do the formatting for all these uh, let's increase its size to 16 and now bold its letters let's change its color to dark blue I don't know about the color scheme. What's it, uh, what is it? Either is it dark blue or sky blue. So it looks good. That's why I'm just going to write over there. So now uh, let's write the assets name. Go to the trial balance. Now, okay, we have filled these two. Electricity is it also an expense. Meal is also an expense. So what you need to do just select all these and create a filter over here go to the sort and filter select the filter so what you need to do just uncheck expenses and income expenses and income now you can see there are only assets liabilities and equity first of all these three are the assets cash furniture and inventory i'm just going to copy all those go to the balance sheet and paste all those over here now again let's go to the trial balance there is only one uh, liability go to the balance sheet again paste it over here go to the trial balance select your owner's equity go to the balance sheet and now paste it over here so you can see there's a lot of gap over here so I'm just going to delete this. You can also right click and delete and uh, delete shift cell up. Press OK. Over here, I'm going to delete these two. You can also use your shortcut keys Alt H. And then you can use I for insert and D for delete. And over here, you need to select the delete cells. Shift cell up. Okay, so this is a very short balance sheet. I think so in the history of the business, this is a very short balance sheet. So we need to use the VLOOKUP formula over here. Go to the VLOOKUP, select is equals to. Let's apply the VLOOKUP formula over here. Now, what's the lookup value? We need to look up this cash value. This value form let's go to the trial balance and select this table whole table go to the balance sheet again press comma sorry the reference is changed to the wrong selection we need to select the cash and then go to the trial balance select this whole table again press comma and now column index so uh, this first column is role label second column is debit third is credit sum of credit and the fourth one is the balance we need actually the balance account so press 4 and again comma so you need to select the false option that is uh, that will return you exact match and now press enter now the formula is pasted over here so what you need to do just select the formula cell again go to the formula bar and now fix the cell references by pressing this F4. I'm going to fix the table references. Press enter. 
So now you can just drag it down. You can see the cash value is for 114350. Furniture value is also mentioned over here and the inventory is also dragged automatically. So let's copy and paste the formula over here. You can see the vendor. At, uh, this is a liability. That's why it's in the negative form. Equity should also be in the negative form. Now what we need to do, we just select the cell, select the formula is equals to VLOOKUP. We need to press negative sign. We need to put negative sign before the formula and just press enter. Now it will be turned to the positive values. Again, press the negative before the formula and then, then just press enter. Now we need to add all those values. I'm just going to press, uh, we need to place a border over here, bottom border. Press OK. OK, uh, the bottom, we need to press the top border over here. OK, it's a top border. Take this one, take the top border, press OK. Over here, we need to sum all those value. If you need to sum all those value over here, you can do. And if you want to sum all those value over here, you can also do. We need to insert one more cell as well. Let's apply the sum formula and add all those values. So I'm also using this cell. If there is any other value, if there is any other asset increase, then do, so that we will be able to add those cells over here. Now I'm going to insert one more row. Uh, sorry, over here. Alt H I R equals to that is the total column. Now I'm just pressing the total column over here. That is the total of the assets. Now let's total of the We need to just enter the top border control one select the border line that you want to enter select the border okay so there's no need to apply the sum formula as there's only one vendor so I'm just entering the values as a total over here and now let's go to our owners XT Okay, in the owner's equity, uh, you can see the owner's equity. We have taken this from the trial balance. There must be a change due to our current profit and loss count. There must be a new. So over here, I'm just going to enter the profit and loss or retained and you can enter the retained earning. This will be a current profit and loss. Let's press equals to go to the profit and loss and select your profit and loss count. It will be in the negative form. So you need to subtract it from the equity. So the retained ending will be subtracted from the, uh, your account automatically. Now, if it's a profit, it will be added to your owner's equity. And if it's a loss, it will be subtracted from your owner's equity. Now let's enter the border over here. Pick the border that you want to choose. Select the top border over here. And now this plus this. Why I'm choosing the plus sign? As you can see, there is already a negative sign, so it will be subtracted automatically. You can see the values is one one three four five zero. Now I'm just going to take its total over here. Now what you need to do, we just need to check either our total of our assets should be equals to total of our liabilities and equity. So we are going to create a new total over here for the assets and the liabilities. Sorry, for the liabilities and equity. So here is the liability and you can see right now the total of assets, total of liabilities and equities and total of our assets is exactly the same. I'm going to do some formatting for this. Let's take another border another shade that is actually a blue okay 
so what we need to do I'm just going to copy its format you can select all those cells select copy and uh, control plus C come over here select the cells press alt H V S and uh, copy the formats press ok that's it now you can see we have copied the formats and both of these values are exactly matched let's do some formatting again go to the control one uh, we need to press two borders over here take a small border on as a top border and uh, take this double line border as a bottom border like this now press ok so you can see the border is applied over here you can also apply the border to the whole line if you want now uh, you can also uh, format by using the format painter now go down and press it over here that's it you can see our balance sheet is perfectly matched and uh, this is a very short balance sheet so uh, we are going to create a more complex transaction this balance sheet as well in the next video we are going to uh, make a video on cash flow and then on the um, on a dashboard uh, how to make an interactive dashboard for a new user for a small business uh, and later on we are going to make a series of videos on the different accounting softwares and the different accounting uh, formats so subscribe our channel like our videos comment and share to the other so that other will also get benefit from those videos thank you very much